calling you his fiance when I'm connecting. So were you supposed to get married here in this world? Know that first of all that he's here and he's actually the one who's been sending you, you um, music from the other side. He tells me that he sends you songs. Yes! <laughs> and he literally pulls me over to come over and, and speak to you. He tells me you were, were going to get a tattoo in memory of him. We have one. Oh, you have one. And were you going to add something to it, he says to me. He says, listen, he goes, Matt, he goes, you need to track her down and let her know that I'm okay. He says, because literally from the day that he had died, he shows me that you have not been able to live your life. There's a lot here that I need to cover. And the first thing that he's saying to me is that I shouldn't have lied to you. I shouldn't have lied to you. He's bringing that through. Because when I'm connecting with him, he goes, Matt, he goes, I had my own issues here in life. And one of the issues that he had was he keeps bringing me through anxiety and telling me he had anxiety issues that he was going through. And more importantly, he's showing me that he was going and experimenting with some type of different medications or different, different pills. Do you understand that? Yeah. He says, and it cost me my life. It did. He said to me, listen, but you're so upset because you felt that your job was to be able to save him yeah. from this. He goes, this was not your fault. He says, and it was so hard for you to open up your heart again and to love again. But I got to tell you something. This man here next to you is a great man. And he's telling me that. And I know that you told her, listen, you can take your time. I want to be there for you. So you knew him as well? I knew of him after the fact, but okay. But he says to me when I'm connecting that what he wants you to know is that he does not want you to close off a piece of your heart to him just because he died. And that's what's so hard. Because literally, I'm going to be honest with you, he's telling me when I'm connecting. Hold on, you got a little bit of the Tammy Faye going on over here. <laughs> he says to me when I'm connecting. My fake eyelashes. <laughs> listen, you said it, not me. <laughs> he says to me when I'm connecting with him, he goes, listen. He goes, what I want to let you know is that I am sorry for hurting you. He says, before I died and before I left this world, he says, you gave me so many chances. He says, but I did not treat you the way that I should have. And he tells me that. He shows me that you would break up and get yeah, back and break up and get back. <laughs> and he shows me, he goes, Matt, he goes, I violated her trust. He says, and there were so many things that I did that I still regret to this day. And I need to let her know that I'm sorry. He says, so the fact that, you know, this man is here and you're her, and, and he's your fiance and he wants to marry you and he wants to start this life with you, he's saying to me, he is so much better of a man than I was here in this world. He says, because I got to be honest with you. He says, if I was alive here and now, I wouldn't have been able to give you the things that he can. He says, because Matt, he goes, I had my own problems. And one of those things was addictions because he's showing me that. He says to me, and that's what came between you and between yeah. him. Listen, you did your part. You gave him the chances. You helped him within his life. You sat for hours and hours talking to him. You tried to get his family involved. His family wouldn't get involved, he tells me. You did all of these things. And then he walked away from you because he did not want to change. So know that what he wants to let you know is that from the moment that he passed on here in this world, he says, Matt, he goes, the one thing that I regretted was ruining her life. Because he was so afraid that you weren't going to be able to move forward and be able to have a life. Because he says to me, there were so many things that she dreamed of that we were supposed to have together. Meaning a family, a marriage, a house, all these things. And now you're doing that with your fiance now. He says to me, listen, you can let go of me. Because letting go of him does not mean that you forget about him. It means that you let go of the pain, the hurt, the anger, all of these things that you have in your heart so that you can love this man with your whole heart and soul. He says, and when you get married, he says, and you walk down the aisle of, on, on that day, he goes, I don't want you to ever have to think about me. He says, because I'm here and I am so, so happy for you. He's acknowledging.